Welcome in, comrades. My name is Jack Sperry, and this is the Commander's Report. On today's show, I'm going to be breaking down some available uh, NFL free agents that are still out on the open market that Ron Rivera, Martin Mayhew, and the Commander's Brass could be thinking about adding here over the next couple of days and weeks as we get closer to training camp. But, bef but before we get into today's show, go ahead, click that subscribe button today and become a comrade today. We added over 350 subscribers last week for the 2023 NFL Draft. We are growing like crazy here on the Commander's Report. And and make sure to turn on your notifications so you always get notified when we put out our daily free Commanders videos here on YouTube. We are growing uh, like crazy. It's all thanks to you guys. You guys are doing a fantastic job. We're starting to build something special here at the Commander Support. You want to be a part of that, go ahead, click that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. So a little bit of a disclaimer here before we get things going. Uh, I'm not necessarily advocating for the commanders to sign any of these players. I think that they could potentially go into training camp with the people that they already have coming out of the 2023 NFL Draft. I'm just saying that these players could be on the commander's radar here coming up in the coming weeks. So let's start with offensive tackle uh, where there's still some pretty darn good uh, prospects or players or veterans or whatever you want to call them out on the open market. Isaiah Wynn is somebody that was a first round pick by the New England Patriots. Very big, powerful guy. You got Taylor Lewan, a former uh, pro bowler with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, household name there. And then you got Cameron Fleming, uh, formerly with the, with the Denver Broncos. Played really well as a swing tackle for them last year. Uh, and then you got Donovan Smith, longtime starter at left tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's still available. And same thing with George Fant, longtime starter, still available on the open market. You take a look what the commanders are dealing with here. A lot of people thought the commanders were going to take an offensive tackle early on, potentially even in the first round, to replace Charles Leno Jr. at right tackle. You go out in free agency and you get Andrew Wiley to be your right tackle next season. Some people don't like Charles Leno Jr. They think that he's a little bit too slow. He's a little bit too uh, brooding. I don't know exactly the kind of word you want to call him there. He's just slow. All right, but you know, he, his grade last year, according to Pro Football Focus, 71.6, which isn't bad necessarily. It's actually pretty darn okay. It's not great, but you know, it's it's certainly uh, not terrible. And then his pass grade, that's really what he's known for, pass protection. An 80.9 pass grade uh, from Pro Football Focus last year. That's one of the best in the National Football League. The big thing with him though is that he's not a very good run blocker at 55.9, so if the commanders want to be running to the left side of the formation, he's a little bit of a weak link there. And then of course he allowed eight sacks last year, which isn't quite ideal, but he only had four penalties so, you know, he's a very solid option. He's not the best left tackle in the world. He's probably never going to make a Pro Bowl. But, you know, he's somebody that it, the commanders can really uh, kind of trust in pass protection. And he's just okay. He's solid. But should Washington sign another offensive tackle? Type Y if you think yes or type N if you think no. This is going to be the pin comment on today's show. So do me a favor. Go to the comment section. Find that pin comment. It's right there at the top and answer today's question. And then if I'm looking at these offensive tackle prospects in free, free agency, or these targets, I should say, the guy that I might want to go grab is Taylor Lewan. He's played left tackle in this league for a very long time. Now, there's a reason why he's still available. He was asking for upwards of $12 million per season at the beginning of NFL free agency. There's no way he is going to get that. I'm talking about like a very low contract, prove it kind of deal. Maybe $2 million if you are the Washington Commanders. Uh, Lewan has dealt with some very major knee injuries, two ACL tears in the last three seasons and you know even when he was healthy last year before he tore his ACL again he wasn't all that great but he is a former pro bowler uh, he's somebody that you know if you grab him and he's great then great you got a new left tackle you know fantastic but if not you still have Charles Leno Jr. who's a very solid prospect or not prospect player for you and he can definitely uh, uh, c come in there at left tackle and do a decent job for you uh, and the quarterback for the commanders heading into 2023. So uh, Emmanuel Daniel Forbes was the number one pick, the first round pick for your Washington Commanders in the 2023 NFL Draft, and you can get his jersey right now on the Chat Sports website. You got to go to chatsports.com slash Emmanuel Forbes. It's not going to be a number one jersey, just so you guys know. It will be his number 13 jersey here in the awesome uh, in the awesome Commanders red there. So you can go to chatsports.com slash Emmanuel Forbes to get your jersey today. 
So some of the top free agents at the edge rusher position, there's still quite a few of these uh, bigger veteran names still available, like Yannick Ngakwe, uh, Jadavion Clowney, Justin Houston, Leonard Floyd, an outside linebacker, Frank Clark, somebody that had a really good postseason for the Kansas City Chiefs last year on their Super Bowl run, and then Robert Quinn as well. All these guys have, ha have had very successful, productive NFL careers, and they're still available. And we all know that right now the commander's defensive line situation, particularly at the defensive end positions here with Montez Sweat and Chase Young is a bit shaky. The, the commanders kind of shockingly uh, declined Chase Young's fifth year option, which means he will be a free agent in 2024. Same thing with Montez Sweat. There was trade rumors swirling around both of these uh, gentlemen before the start of the 2023 NFL draft. They are for the time being still commanders. You go out and get KJ Henry in the NFL draft. Same thing with Andre Jones there uh, in the draft, but I just think that the commanders need a uh, a, a future plan here at defensive end uh, because one of the one or both of these guys are probably not going to be on your team in 2024. I certainly think Unique Ngakwe would be a fantastic addition as a rotational piece this year that can also come in in 2024 and be a solid starter for you in 2024. All right, now let's get into some running back uh, uh, targets here in free agency that they could go get. Now there's still some power backs uh, on the market as well, like Ezekiel Elliott that, that they could grab. But let's face it, the Commanders have a enough power running backs. They need somebody like a Kareem Hunt or a Jarek McKinnon, uh, some, a little bit of a lighter back that's a good receiver, because I think that's kind of what's missing uh, when it comes to the commander's running back depth chart right now. you got some really big bodies in there, and Brian Robinson, Antonio Gibson, and Chris Rodriguez Jr., who you drafted in the sixth round this year. Antonio's a former receiver, so I guess he's your receiving threat option at the running back position, but if they wanted to go out in free agency and get a guy like Jarek McKinnon, who's a really, really great receiver, uh, receiving option as a running back. I wouldn't mind that whatsoever. It really seems like Ron Rivera is putting an emphasis uh, on the running back room this year and on the run game for the offensive uh, game plan. It's going to be interesting to see how new offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy uses these guys in the lineup this year. Uh, and, you know, you might be saying, Jack, where's the quarterbacks here? Should I know that there's many Commanders fans that really do believe in Sam Howell, but I know that there's a there's a small contingent of Commanders fans that want the steel or want the Commanders, I should say, to go out and get a new quarterback. And I just don't think that's a really good move, personally, guys. I say roll with Sam Howell and Jacoby Brissett. Uh, there, you know, there's still some decent options on the free agent market. Matt Ryan, Carson Wentz. You know, there's still some uh, veteran options still on the free agent market. But I think what you have right now with Sam Howell and Jacoby Brissett, you know, you got your veteran, you've got your young guy that you're hoping is developing here in year two. And I think that one of these guys, you just have to trust that one of these gentlemen are going to uh, uh, kind of ascend to that leadership role. Hopefully it's Sam Howell, fifth round rookie last year out of the University of North Carolina. Showed some good things in preseason, showed some good things against the Cowboys to end the season last year. It seems like uh, the Commander's fan base is really starting to to believe that Sam Howell is going to be be the guy, and it looks like the front office and uh, head coach Ron Rivera agree with that. They th they believe in this kid. They drafted him for a reason, and you know they've seen what he can do in practice. And I guess that what he showed them in practice last year, and then of course in that game against the Cowboys, it's enough for them to really be confident that he can be that guy for them next year and lead them to the playoffs in 2023. So let me ask you guys a question here. Are you a real one? If you are a real one, uh, here is the checklist here that you need to check off. You need to subscribe to the channel. You need to make sure that you like every single video here that you watch. You got to get in the comment section and let us know your takes on our questions each and every video. You got to watch until the end. Only the real ones really make it to the end of these videos, man. They got to go follow me on Twitter here at Jack underscore Sperry. I put announcements out on uh, for the channel on there, uh, additional film analysis for the commanders. All that great stuff can be found on my Twitter at Jack underscore Sperry. And if you are a real one that made it to the end of today's video, I truly appreciate you. Go ahead and go into the comment section and type real one in all caps to identify yourselves. That's going to be it for today's show, comrades. I really do appreciate you. And as always, hail to the commanders.